Next on Access AC Live, we talk with the Jersey Outlaw. Check out what's cooking at Revel Resorts and ideas for your Valentine. All that and much more coming up on Access AC Live. Welcome to Access AC Live. I'm your host, Whitney Ullman. This is the show where we bring you all the hip and exciting things to see and do in Atlantic City. One of the best times to visit Atlantic City is for Valentine's Day. The resort gathers all the best things they have to offer and bundle it up for you to give to that special someone in your life. We'll have more on that, plus two chefs' tempting creations later in the show. But first, we got a chance to sit down with Jimmy Lee, AKA the Jersey Outlaw, to talk about his musical niche. Yeah. filming right here at Central Cafe at the Revel Casino in Atlantic City and I am sitting next to the Jersey outlaw Jimmy Lee. He's a country rock artist. Welcome to the show Jimmy Lee. Thanks Whit, for having me. I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. <laughs> so tell us, you have a new music video that just came out. Tell us all about it. I have it. A, a great music video okay. we just finished up. It's going to be out in about a week or two. It's called Spanish Girl. Okay. It's a uh, beautiful ballad I, I wrote about a month and a half ago, kind of Springsteen style. Okay. Along the lines of Jersey Girl. Um, about the guy that gambles and gets his senorita. Aww. It's a beautiful song and it's going to be out on radio in two weeks and on country music TV in about a month. Wow. And, and I it's know. It's a beautiful song. That's so cool. What was your inspiration for that? Um, I, I listened to Springsteen a lot and the inspiration for that was Jersey Girl. I love Springsteen and yeah. I love Jersey Girl. Okay. And I went on the airplane coming back from a poker <laughs> event in West Palm Beach and wrote Spanish Girl. Wow. So you write your own music as well. I write and do the music and lyrics. I have it produced professionally by a okay. Grammy nominated producer David Ivory. Of but course. I yes. write and do do all the lyrics and the music myself. Okay, and I know you have other songs that have charted billboard charts. You have songs that are very popular. We have music videos that many people and people have seen you perform here in Atlantic City at the House right. of Blues. Why don't you tell us about that? We were we've done several venues in Atlantic City. We have performed and opened for George Thorogood here a couple years ago wow. at the House of Blues. That's so cool. Uh, thanks to yeah. Pete Manning, the yeah. booking agent. Yeah. And also the Kentucky Headhunters we opened for. And uh, we've done some things in Philly with Kenny Chesney a few years ago when they had Battle of the Bands. Okay. And we most recently have made a, a big dent into the poker world through some poker songs we wrote. Yes. Uh, and we now do a lot of poker uh, uh, celebrity and charity events and they use our poker music which is uh, one of the songs is called I'm All In and the other is called Hit the River I like Running. that song, yeah. They're really excellent songs, and the cool thing is that they're geared towards poker, and we're in Atlantic City, so we have gambling, we have, we have poker here, and it's just such a great fit, and it's so unique. Do you find that there's other artists that also talk about poker in their songs? No, I think why I did it was, uh, it was a niche. Nobody yeah, did it. Yeah, of course. So I, thinking like a business guy, said I'm gonna do poker songs and pen poker songs, and now oh, wow. they've hit big, and now a lot of the poker event uh, people call on us to come to the events as a media personality to yeah. uh, sometimes perform, sometimes play, and take a lot of photos with people and they use our music. And speaking of that, I mean, you were talking about how you're a business guy. During the day, what's your profession? What do we do during the day? Dentist by day, country rocker by night. And that's what he is. You have three practices here in New Jersey. Three practices in New Jersey, <laughs> soon to be five. We're expanding as we speak into Pennsylvania. Wow, that's and, so cool. Uh, Whitney calls me actually Doc and Roll. That's Doc my nickname. <laughs> But Don Hurley, who's a media guy down here, he says when the sun goes down and the lights go on, turn up the radio on that and lock the doors because that's when the Jersey Admiral Jimmy Lee comes out to play his country rock music. And speaking of my country rock music with Kid Vegas and Gone, two big songs off my greatest hits album that just came out last year. They charted last year wow, on yes. country radio. They were both on from spring till towards the end of the year. Wow. So we got great airplay with them. And things are, are going very well for me. You know, things take time. You yeah, have to be patient. Of course, patient, of course. But as you stick with something and persevere, things do happen. That's definitely the truth. Great. And what advice can you give to somebody who has a profession that does have that passion where they want to sing um, and be out there? I told my kids this. I'll say it to the viewers. Um, always do your career first and make money because you're going to have a family one day. You have to pay the bills. After you do that, 
you can do your fun job. Music, acting, Broadway, whatever. But make sure you have your, your, your profession locked down where you make a good enough living to enjoy your fun job. Yeah, and I'm, that's true. I'm lucky enough to be able to have my offices make a good living where I can go out and perform and do music videos and, yeah. and do things like this and enjoy a passion that I love. It's not for money because I'm not making that much money at it. I'm <laughs> yes, doing it because it's from my heart. No, I know. You know what I mean? Well, where can we find out more information? Uh, you can find out on my website, which is Jimmy Lee Songs, J-I-M-M-I-E-L-E-E-S-O-N-G-S, -E 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 and my Facebook page, which is updated uh, daily. And a lot of my live performances, as well as my music videos, can be captured on YouTube. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming Whitney, on the show. It's a pleasure to see you. And best of luck with your new career at NJ.com. <laughs> thank you, Jimmy Lee. And there you have it, everybody. We just talked to the Jersey outlaw, Jimmy Lee. He's a country rock artist. Make sure you look for him. You can find out more information on your screen. Don't go anywhere. Our next guest will tempt you with their culinary creations. You'll want to check this out. We live in a dangerous, uncertain world. Let Greenlee Security Services keep your business safe and secure. Preview. Greenlee Security Services has a history of proven success as a total provider in risk management. Our customer service is unparalleled with 24-hour access, in-house investigators, and security professionals that receive world-class training. Greenlee Security Services develops specialized, cost-effective responses to address the overall security needs of any size business. Visit GreenleeSecurity.com. get anywhere quickly. You don't want your friends to be annoyed, so you text. You're on your way. Five seconds is the average time your eyes are off the road while texting while driving. Make sure you get where you're going. This segment is sponsored by Greenlee Security, a total provider of risk management. Welcome back to Access AC Live. Nothing says I love you like a romantic dinner at a quality restaurant. We called around and the chefs at Centrale inside Revel Resorts invited us to dine with them and share with us their Valentine's menu. Let's see what they've got cooking. On today's show, I am so excited because we have executive pastry chef Michael D'Angelo. We also have executive chef Michael Williams, and they're going to talk to us about the Valentine's Day menu that they have here at Central. Welcome to the show, guys. Welcome. So tell us about, we'll talk with uh, the executive chef, Michael Williams. Tell us about the, what we have in front of us and about the menu for Valentine's Day. Well, we have, uh, Whitney, we have a appetizer we serve here at Central. It's a uh, steak tartare, very classic bistro dish. Okay. Uh, we put a little twist to it. Uh, it's not your ordinary uh, uh, tartare that we serve. We put a little beet juice in there Ooh. for a little acidity, a little sweetness. We serve it with a Gruyere crisp. And uh, we're, we're into a lot of texture here. We add a lot of texture to most of our products. Okay. We have a little crunchy rice pearls on top. Wow. Yeah. Rice pearls? Rice pearls. Okay. Rice pearls. okay. Now, do you make everything in-house? Yes. Of course, everything right? House made. And the good thing about that is you can actually see here in the kitchen as the chefs are cooking. Yes. That's one of your big, I guess, uh, people love coming here just to oh, see that. People love it. It's a, it's a live theater. People love to watch the watch the uh, the cooks and their craft and their skill and preparing all the dishes. And they sit at the counter and mm -hmm. uh, occasionally they get some free recipes from us. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. It's like a reality show, except we don't hear a lot, a lot of the yelling and the, yes, chef, right? 
No, no, no not at all. <laughs> That's really cool. Uh, tell us about the type of food that you have here at the restaurant. We, uh, we, we tend to think of the, the restaurant uh, like an American with a French accent. So it's American oh. classics, uh, bistro style. And we okay. have, uh, again, classic dishes such as steak tartare, uh, hanger steak or steak frites. Okay. Uh, classic uh, desserts such as Napoleon. Uh, we also have some very modern dishes such as our scallops bosques. Oh, we have yummy. salmon, very uh, very modern presentation, very seasonal dishes, and then we have whimsical dishes. I Michelle love that name, loves whimsical. whimsical. <laughs> Michelle loves to add a little fun uh, into his dishes, such as the banana split. It's a it's a huge dessert. It's a great dessert that chef prepares. Oh, that's all cool. our house made ice creams and sorbets. Really brings back the kid in you. That is so cool. Yeah. I love that whole concept, especially because you're in this adult casino. You have all kinds of adult things going on, but sometimes you want to bring that kid out of you and you have really great food, but you can get a banana split and just feel happy and it's like fresh and good. That's really neat. Yeah, yeah. That's really neat. Well, thank you. And now we could talk to Michael D'Angelo. You're the executive pastry chef here. I mean, I've been staring at this chocolate heart. I mean, now chocolate is the way to my heart, but now I see this big chocolate heart. Talk to us about it. So well, this is our, our three inch Valentine's Day heart. Okay. All right? It's uh, it's a uh, house made um, uh, chocolate heart, okay. and we're going to fill it with raspberries, uh, pastry cream, and sponge cake. Okay. And then we have fresh uh, edible rose leaves and gold leaf on the on the dessert. Okay. Now, when you say gold leaf, that's actual gold. Yes, it is. We, now, we actually we... purchased gold leaf, and we're going to be flaking it on to order. That is so cool. I think that's really interesting. Yes. Now this says it's for two people, right? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And these are real rose petals? Real rose petals. Uh, are they edible? Yeah, rose petals are, so you can eat them. Okay. And, uh, you know, you can just, you know, scatter them about or you can, you know, eat them. <laughs> that's really neat. Now what's your background? My background, um, I've been in uh, pastry for 30 years now. Okay. Myself and Chef Michael yeah, are both graduates of the Academy of Culinary Arts wow. here in Mays Landing. Wow. And um, I was uh, I spent you know mo most of my career in other casinos before I got the call from Mike to come here and work at Central. Aww. So it's it's a great honor working with Mike again. We worked together many years ago. Yeah. And uh, it's great to be here. We learned a lot of great things. Yeah. Uh, doing a lot of great things and uh, it's been a real experience. Is it a different experience having the open kitchen versus some of the restaurants you've worked in? Completely and totally <laughs> different. Okay. Um, always being a pastry chef, I was always, um, as we used to say, down in the dungeon. Okay. And we'd send our products up to restaurants. Now that we're plating right on the counter and I get to do sugar pieces and I'll do them right on the, on the counter. Wow. And we get guests that just love to sit at the counter yeah. and watch us put together um, our sugar pieces that we put up in display. So it's, wow. a, it's a great experience, you know, that the public can actually see somebody yeah. making it in front of them, not just when it's on TV. It's a whole different experience when they can feel the heat of the sugar. They always want to touch it yeah. and, and see how you're doing it. And, you know, they get to feel the flame of the, of, of the whole heat. Right, and it's amazing for people too because they don't, they can't always do these things at home. So to come and see somebody actually prepare it in front of them, that's a whole other experience for them. Yeah, they're, they're totally thrilled. It's yeah. a great experience. Do you have any uh, heartwarming stories of people that have said thank you for doing something special for them? Oh, countless, yeah. countless. As a matter of fact, um, when I made the sugar piece that I made for you today, I had already made that piece <laughs> uh, several years ago. And I put it on Facebook, and the girl that I made it for, she commented it on Facebook, and she said, didn't you make me a very similar piece <laughs> on my wedding day? Okay. Because I had done her, her wedding cake and a sugar piece for her for and her wedding. And you did my birthday cake, too. Yes, I yeah. did your birthday cake. When you, when you, that was when you turned 25, right? Right, that was my 25th birthday. Right? Yes, last year, right? Yeah, right, last year. Exactly. Yeah. You see that? <laughs> no, that's really neat. So she commented on it, and she remembered it. Yes, very much so. It was very, yeah. 30, almost 30 years ago. We, you know, we, we have several, uh, as you know, several restaurants here. Of course, right. Everyone has their own specialty. I mean, uh, some restaurants specialize in Mediterranean cuisine, some specialize in mussels okay. or burgers or more of a lunch fare. So right. I, I think it's very competitive here, and, and we have a great product that we serve here at Revel. Okay. Uh, what differs between us, I, I think, is just, just the cuisine itself, the type of cuisine we serve. Great, okay. Again, uh, French accents, an American Love bistro that. theme. 
Uh, we also have some very uh, unusual burgers that we serve here for lunch as well. Okay. So not only dinner, but we also serve uh, Tell brunch Tell us about these burgers. They sound really yeah, good. Yeah, the burgers. We have several burgers. We have a lobster burger. Okay. On the menu, it's served with a ginger aioli. Uh, people love that ginger, mm. uh, ginger aioli. It's, <laughs> it accents the, the seafood and the shellfish. Okay. Uh, we also have a lamb burger that's very distinct. Mm. It's all fresh uh, lamb shoulder. We break down, we fabricate, we rub it down with about 16 spices. Wow. We let it uh, oh marinate God. about 24 to 36 hours, grind it fresh, and we shape okay. it to a burger. So it reminds you of, say, Morocco, like Moroccan spices okay, right. and cumin, coriander, exactly. curry, crushed red pepper, very aromatic, very flavorful. Okay. We serve that with a jalapeno aioli. So each okay. of our burgers has an aioli that you know, okay. complements the actual protein itself. We also have a chicken burger. And then we have preserved lemon inside the chicken burger itself to, to, to give it a little pop. Wow. And we serve that with a curry aioli. Okay. On there. My mouth is watering right now. <laughs> I feel like I'm like, can I just try all of yeah. them? People <laughs> love they love our burgers. Yeah, you know, all the rolls are our house our house recipes. We yeah. serve it with a, an olive oil loaf or, or bun, should I say. Okay. We serve it with a potato twill which we make in-house, okay. and oven-cured tomatoes on each burger. Wow. So very, very special. Wow, that is special. That's yeah. unique, I think, to all of Atlantic City. I mean, there's a lot of places who make specialized items, but you guys seem to have a really cool niche. Well, thank you so much for talking to us thank about you. your restaurant, about your Valentine's Day specials, and I'm sure that the audience and all the people watching will definitely check out everything that you have here. Thank you. So thank you for being on the show. And there you have it, everybody. We just talked to executive chef Michael Williams and executive pastry chef Michael D'Angelo. To find out more about this restaurant, definitely go to accessaclive.com to find out more information. Thank you for watching. Next on Access AC Live, we compiled a list of Valentine's Day events taking place in Atlantic City. Please stay with us. If you drive buzzed, it could cost you around $10,000. You'll face major legal fees, major fines, and steep insurance penalties. You could lose everything. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Getting closer to nature can get you closer to your family. Go to discovertheforest.org. Welcome back to the show. There's still time to do something in Atlantic City for Valentine's Day with that special person in your life. We compiled a list of some of the many romantic packages and events for you and your significant other. If you really want to profess your love in a more memorable way, head out to the 6th Annual Valentine's Day Group Wedding at Boardwalk Hall. The ceremony, sponsored by the Atlantic City Convention and Visitors Authority, or the ACCVA, takes place on Thursday, February 14th from 2 to 4 p.m. inside the Adrian Phillips Ballroom. It's free for all couples and their guests and includes a champagne toast, wedding cake, and photo opportunities. For more detailed information, visit www.AtlanticCityNJ.com. Over at the Tropicana Casino, check out Martini Week with over 50 varieties of martinis from more than 15 different bars and restaurants. Many of the drinks cost only $5. From whatever your taste, you'll find your favorite cocktail and martini themed shopping specials like the Strawberry Shortcake Martini, a Green Tea Martini, or even a Mango Ginger Martini. For those who want the martini without the alcohol, feel free to try Finn's special Lobster Martini. The event takes place from February 10th to the 14th. At Boogie Nights, celebrate Valentine's Day with Kiss Me Friday on February 15th. Dress like Kiss or wear your favorite concert tee and get in free before 11 p.m. Also at the Tropicana, catch a performance by one of comedy's elite performers, Whoopi Goldberg, on February 16th. She's been honored with an Academy Award, a Golden Globe, Emmy, Tony, and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And she performs for you right here in Atlantic City. Plus, after her show, there will be a short question and answer session, so make sure to get your tickets today. 
If you love going to historic landmarks and want to celebrate your loved one earlier in the day, then check out the delightful date days at the Epsecan Lighthouse and Tony Baloney's. From February 14th to the 17th, couples who are looking for an economically friendly way to share a romantic date are invited to get two tickets for the price of one to climb New Jersey's tallest lighthouse. Then head over to Tony Baloney's and share a complimentary bowl of delicious homemade soup. Hours of operation are 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. and the last climb is at 3.30 p.m. Here are the top 10 sweet spots to get engaged at Atlantic City's newest casino, Revel. The Sky Garden with over two acres of outdoor gardens. Amada by Jose Garces which provides sexy oceanfront ambiance. Azure by Alan Allegretti which overlooks the ocean. American Cut by Mark Forgione with a great rock and roll feel. HQ Nightclub where the DJ will stop the music and announce your presence and allow you to pop the question. Revel Beach at Sunset. The bathhouse at Basque where you can surprise your loved one after a massage treatment. Room 4002, one of the most beautiful views in Atlantic City. And of course Ovation Hall where you can take your loved one to your favorite concert and then pop the question. And finally, the Digi Pit where the DJ will play a special song to help set the mood. For our cultural loving couples, check out the Senior Music Theater Program Concert Series in Atlantic City on Valentine's Day, February 14th. Take a loved one to a free 2 p.m. matinee show at the beautiful Dante Hall Theater in Atlantic City. The show titled Love is in the Air, Best of Broadway Concert features the Greater Ocean City Theater Company and also includes a Valentine's dessert party afterwards with the cast. Seating is limited, so make your reservations today. Other entertainment happening on Valentine's weekend is on February 16th, CeeLo Green will perform at Harris and Chubby Checker graces audiences at Resort Superstar Theater. Then on Sunday, February 17th, the Anti-Social Network Comedy Tour comes to the Borgata. In case you weren't taking notes, you can check out our website for the Access AC Live Valentine's Guide. Up next, we talk with Lance Fung about Atlantic City's five-year public art initiative. Please don't go anywhere. There are a million places you'd never consider texting. So why would you do it while driving? Leave risky driving to the professionals. Stop the texts, and together we can stop the wrecks. Here's your check. Oh, you, you got it. You know, since I got rid of my car, I really enjoy walking. Okay. Got it. No. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Oh, you're home early. You live with your mom? That'll set your game back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. We live in a dangerous, uncertain world. Let Greenlee Security Services keep your business safe and secure. Preview. Greenlee Security Services has a history of proven success as a total provider in risk management. Our customer service is unparalleled with 24-hour access, in-house investigators, and security professionals that receive world-class training. Greenlee Security Services develops specialized, cost-effective responses to address the overall security needs of any size business. Visit GreenleeSecurity.com. Welcome back. If you've taken a romantic walk along the boardwalk, then you may have noticed the first phase of Atlantic City's public art initiative. These are fun places to explore with your valentines, so it warrants us showing you this story again. Hi, I'm Lance Fung. I'm the chief curator for Artlantic, and I was brought into Atlantic City to curate public art exhibitions for the next five years. Artlantic is a new sort of experiment for Atlantic City, and in fact for the whole world. It's the first time that an art exhibition is created to essentially develop public art spaces, meaning um, parks and meeting places, a place for the locals to hang out in and also possibly for the visitors. 
for Atlantic Wonder, which is this year's exhibition. Um, we're on two different locations. The um, smaller but very poignant, sweet, um, unique piece is right on the boardwalk and it's right next to the Ritz. It's a piece by an artist named John Roloff and a landscape a designer named Joe Chiron. And that's a first project. And then the second one is a bit more recognizable. It's a giant lot that's been empty since I think 2006, which is where the Sands Casino um, once stood. And now we have a giant art park. It's over seven and a half acres. Public art is a bit more specialized because it also has the least freedom because often the work that you put in the public space needs to be vetted out by so many people. And because of that, it becomes a little less interesting for people in the art world because they feel as if they're almost handcuffed. Atlantic City doesn't have handcuffs on me as far as the curatorial vision, which is fantastic and a unique opportunity. But as far as my previous work, I've mostly curated for big um, projects around the world. I worked on a big project in the Arctic Circle, which was over $8 million, a project titled The Snow Show. Um, I worked, and, and because of that success, then the Winter Olympics in Torino asked me to do their largest exhibition for the opening. So did the Beijing Olympic Games, worked in Santa Fe, and so I've, I'm not a newbie. My belief is in order to have a project be truly successful, it needs to hit many different um, audiences. From the, uh, from the art world, which is a very specific, specialized audience, to children, to families, to locals, often to visitors or tourists, if it's that type of community. Um, at the same time, not watering down the content or the quality of the work so it just becomes wallpaper, something decorative. Still needs to have meaning and purpose. Um, but one way to really engage the local community is, first of all, get to know them. Second of all, understand their abilities and their strengths so that you can learn from them. And third of all, through inclusion. All of our projects are free to the public, and so we hope you come and visit. Atlantic's next art installation is expected to open around Memorial Day, just in time for the unofficial start to summer. For more information and updates, please go to accessaclive.com. Well, that's it for this episode of Access AC Live. As always, I want to thank you for watching our show. Please check out accessaclive.com for web-exclusive videos and stories. Also, we'd love to hear from you, so please write to us in the comments section and tell us what you like to do in Atlantic City but let's keep it PG-13. You can also follow us on most social media and join in on the conversation. Just search Access AC Live on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next Thursday at 8 p.m. for another show. See you in Atlantic City. Bye, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Enjoy your day.